Hello and welcome to Skills and Trade. Today's exciting video we're learning how to sand and polish a stainless steel sheet to a mere finish. The first thing we're going to do is take some Aluma Cut, place some in our spray bottle, and then we're just going to mist all over our stainless steel sheet. Now that that's taken care of, we can finally begin sanding. So we're going to take our 220 grit sandpaper, place it on our hook it pad, which has been attached to our drill, so that we may begin sanding. The key thing you need to remember is not to spend too much time in any spot or area, or you'll create divots in the metal. Next up, I'm going to take some of our isopropyl alcohol, wipe it on the stainless steel sheet to get rid of any aluma cut or any spare stainless steel dust. Next up is our 400 grit sandpaper. And just like the 220 grit sandpaper previously, we're just gonna place it on our hook it pad, spray it with just a little bit of Aluma Cut so that we may begin sanding. Now we're gonna take a 400 grit sandpaper, place it on our interface pad, place it on our hook it pad, Spray it with just a little bit of Aluma Cut, then once more, begin sanding. Now once again we're going to take some more isopropyl alcohol, place it on our Scott Blue shop towel, and just clean up the stainless steel sheet for our next sanding step. We are now ready for the 800 grit sandpaper. And just like the 400 grit sandpaper previously, we're just going to place it on the interface pad, place it on the hook it pad, and then once more, begin sanding. Just like our previous steps, I'm now going to take some more isopropyl alcohol to do a quick wipe of this stainless steel sheet. Like our previous step with 800, I'm now going to take a 1500 grit sandpaper, place it on our interface pad, then once more, begin sanding. After quickly wiping down our stainless steel sheet, we can now move on to our 3000 grit Trizac sandpaper. We're just going to place it on our hook it pad, spray it with just some Aluma Cut, then once more begin sanding. It is at this step that our stainless steel sheet looks more and more like a mirror. After cleaning our stainless steel sheet, it is now time for our 5000 grit Trizac sandpaper. So just like the 3000 grit Trizac sandpaper previously, we're just going to stick it on our hook it pad, spray it with just some Aluma Cut, and once more, begin sanding. After cleaning our stainless steel sheet, we can now move on to our final sanding step. So we're just going to take an 8000 grit sandpaper, place it on our hook it pad, spray it with just a bit of Aluma Cut, and then once more, begin sanding. Now that that's taken care of, let's take our isopropyl alcohol and give our stainless steel sheet one final wipe down. After waiting until our stainless steel sheet is nice and cool, we may begin polishing. So we're going to take some Gord's aluminum polish, place some on our stainless steel sheet, wipe it in until it is dark as possible, take a Miger's polishing pad, place it on our hook it pad, 
and while slowly holding down the trigger on the drill, we may begin buffing. While I was buffing, I found a few spots that I decided to throw an extra little bit of polish on and start to buff a little more. I then decided maybe I should take a little bit of time and polish a little bit by hand to make sure this will look as good as possible. Now that that's taken care of, it is time to protect our finish. So we're going to take some Bling Master Bling Barrier Clear Sealant, place some on our Scott Blue Shop Towel, which we had just sprayed a little bit of water on to make it damp, and then we're just going to rub it into our stainless steel sheet until it's dark as possible, and then we're just going to wipe it away with another Scott Blue Shop Towel. I just want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Please leave a comment down in the comment box and have a wonderful day.